everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video well guys the new wicked movie is coming out already very soon so of course i want to make at least some characters from the upcoming movie but you know i already made my glinda doll a couple of years ago and i'm still very happy with that doll it was like an old hollywood version of the character and i've also made ariana grande doll a couple of years ago so that's why today i think i will go for alphabet doll i was thinking for a very long time if i should make a monster hive version of it or if I should just buy the official dolls like the Rihanna Grande doll and the Cynthia Erivo doll and repaint them but then you know I thought that it would be more interesting for me to make uh, the alphabet doll from scratch not buying a doll that already exists that already has all the outfit accessories all the original features like the green skin tone for example and repaint her into alphabet like you know alphabet into alphabet it would be more interesting for me to take a regular monster high doll and turn her into this character so this is what we're going to make today my mom will help me with the outfit but you know guys if you're interested I I can buy these official dolls, the Ariana Grande doll as Glinda and Cynthia Rivo as Alphaba and repaint these dolls as well so then we'll have kind of wicked November <laughs> all month I'm going to repaint here this Glinda and Alphaba dolls but I totally don't mind it because you know I really love dolls sculpted as real celebrities so if you would be interested in seeing me repainting the official release dolls please let me know in the comments and i will immediately go to amazon will buy these dolls and will give them a makeover but today me and my mom together we are going to give a makeover to another monster high doll i think it will be very cool i'm very excited about this project very excited about this premiere i really love the trailer of the movie so you know i'm really excited about it i'm very curious very excited so let's start the transformation of course guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, I just have to remind it in the beginning of my videos because people always forget about it so you know it doesn't hurt to remind them one more time to subscribe to my channel to support my art here on YouTube with your likes if you enjoy things that I'm making here and yeah of course hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos I upload new doll makeovers every week Friday or every second week Friday depends on the size of the project so, and this being said, let's start working. So, this is the doll that I will use for this makeover. I know she doesn't really look like Cynthia Erivo, but you know, there are not that many black monster high dolls, let's be honest. So, let's work on this Claudine today. And I begin, like always, with undressing the doll, getting rid of her hair, and wiping off her face with pure acetone. Like, this is where it always begins.
Now I can cut off her wolf ears and I will cover up the holes with pieces of warbler thermoplastic, make sort of patches. After that I can seal her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I can start the real transformation. And the first task is of course to make her look green and for this I'll first cover her face with blue pastels because blue is the opposite of this brown color. You can see it on the color wheel, I'm showing it. Uh, so first of all I need to neutralize this brown with this blue. Actually, I begin with applying a layer of white pastels first because it will make the blending of these two opposite colors much more smooth and seamless. I always do it when I apply opposite colors. After these blue pastels, I'm applying yellow pastels. And then on top of it comes the green. Very good, I think, guys. Check it out. We've changed her skin color in just a couple of very easy layers because of color theory. And now I can draw the rest of her face. The color changing was the most challenging job here. The face is easier.
Okay, I think the face looks really good and now I have to perform the same color change in magic blush in her body. Okay, the drawing part is finished and now it's time to check out my mom. How is she doing there working on her outfit? We've decided to make this dress today. I think it looks cute. It's actually a blouse with a dress on top of it. And you can see how my mom is making it all. You can see that she started with making a blouse, attaching all these tiny details of the sleeves, attaching all these mini ruffles. It's like always a super detailed job there. And then she moves on to the dress. And guys, this is the finished outfit arriving to my studio in a super cute packaging. It all looks so adorable really, starting from the unboxing, starting from the very beginning. And this is how the outfit looks. Everything is like always super detailed, the puffy sleeves of the blouse, the tiny buttons on the dress, really so, 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 so cute, all these details. She also has a mini underwear and also a pair of black stockings and she has a black cape, of course, really super beautiful. I think my mom deserves a huge like and also guys, please subscribe to her Instagram for more weekly looks. She uploads new doll outfits every week also on Friday. So now I can put it all on the doll 
and everything still looks absolutely fantastic <laughs> absolutely beautiful look so now I need to make a bunch of accessories for her I will make a hat I will make a broom I will make a pair of boots but I will probably start with making her hair because you know this hair will add volume to her head and I need to know it to make a hat for her so scene theory was Alphaba wears braids so let's make the braids why not I don't make braids that often on my channel and I will use this black yarn for it. You can see that this yarn exists out of five threads and each of these threads also exists out of two twisted threads. So normally I would make it loose completely, but today I will keep the last two threads twisted. I think it will give us really nice looking, realistic size, realistic thickness braids. So this is how it all looks for now, let's glue it to the doll's head. And this is how it all looks when the glue gets dry. I think it's actually really cute. I don't know, I really love her braids. I was first thinking about straightening these braids. But you know, I really like this natural looking curl. So let's keep it like this and let's make a witch hat. So first I'm playing with the paper pattern, trying to see how big and wide it should be. Yep, something like this will be good. And then I'm cutting out all the details out of Warbler Thermoplastic, warming it up with a hair dryer, and I'm making an actual hat. The hat in the movie looks really old and deformed and textured, you know, it's supposed to be like an ugly witch hat, so let's squeeze it all and add that texture.
I think it looks already really fun, but I want to add even more texture to the hat and I want to attach some tissue paper to it. Yep, it looks really good. So now I will let it dry, then I will paint it black, then I will glue some leather straps to it to divide it in sort of layers. And this is it, I think. So guys, this is what I've made, I think the hat looks absolutely brilliant, I'm very happy about it, it was also really fun to work on it, and it will also look amazing with the outfit. So I'm very happy with this part of the project, now let's make a broom for her. And I begin with making a couple of kind of round sticks out of warblog. Now I will connect all of them together, trying to make an effect of some kind of tree branches being weaved together.
Yes, it looks very good. So now I will take this thing, you know, I don't even know how to call it. It's some Easter decoration made out of paper that looks like straw. So I want to deconstruct it because I will need just the long part of it to make the broom because the short parts are a little bit too short for the broom of the size that I'm making. It should be quite big this time. So I connect these bristles to the brush and now I think we are ready to paint it. This is what I've ended up making. I think it looks really good, it fits the character, fits the outfit, I'm very happy. So now let's make a pair of boots for her and she will have classic taller boots with laces on the front. And I will use Warbler Thermoplastic to make them of course.
So here are my finished boots. I think they go really well with the outfit. They're not too much, but they're perfectly in style. So now I just need to add some gloss to Horizon lips and then I'll take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, here is my finished Alphaba doll and I think she's a perfect character to be made right after my Halloween specials. She looks very dark, very gorgeous, but you know at the same time you can see her soft side, so I really love her, I love her face, I love her outfit. My mom's outfit is amazing, really, just like always, also very dark, very detailed, absolutely beautiful. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to her Instagram. And also guys, please don't forget to tell me what you think about this doll and also what you think about the idea of repainting the official Wicked dolls. The ones that have been sculpted like actual Ariana and Cynthia. I will be waiting for your response, then I will order the dolls if you want to see them. And if you want to buy this doll, you can find her on eBay for 7 days. The link is in the description box under this video. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon, normally next week, Friday. I'm planning to repaint another big doll head, so normally this makeover will come out next on my channel. So, see you in my next video, have a nice weekend, love you guys, bye!